I'm going to try and create some diagonal runs and drips across here. So I'm going to hold the paper up and load up this brush and just start doing things like this. I'm going to do it several times because I don't expect to use every one of these runs. I'll pick the ones that I like. If I like what happened, I can introduce a little paint in there. I've mixed up some raw umber and ultramarine blue just to make kind of a brownish gray tone and nothing too dark. And I'll start dropping it into some of these runs. Actually, I'm going to get a little daring here and I'm just going to do it with the paint. And of course, as long as things are wet, I can't get into too much trouble. I can wipe them off or spray them off if they do something I don't like. It's funny how things will run and drip beautifully when you don't want them to, and how difficult it is to get them to do that when you do want them to. And I like how some of them converged here and came together and made that little shape. I sort of like that, so I'm going to keep it. I definitely want to get some of them going across these bamboo leaves. That creates some interest. Actually trying to paint these kind of things yourself with a brush never looks as natural as when the water does it on its own. And I think I like that pretty well. I'll check this out for a few minutes. If I decide I need a little bit more through here, I'll do that, but I'm going to let it sit for a minute. This one sort of came straight into this bamboo leaf and echoed this direction in a way that I wasn't crazy about. So I painted this one. I had it come back out and up across this way. So there was some continuity there and also changed the direction, the angle of that. But I'm still not crazy about how this comes into almost the point of that leaf, but that'll be obscured a little bit in a couple of the next steps. So I'm not really worried about it. I added another one up here. I felt like something had to happen up there. As I say, I actually painted these. I've got more confidence about doing that once the natural ones, the ones that happened on their own, once they've sort of established a size and a direction and sort of a feel, then I feel I can add a few on my own and hopefully sort of keep them in the same character as the ones that happen naturally. So I painted this one, and one reason I painted it myself was I wanted to get this little jog in here, this little bend. I like a lot of the uh, sumae type of painting and Chinese brush techniques, and I practice a lot of that stuff. I wanted to make sure that it just didn't come out on the other side of the fish in the opposite place, so I had it come out here. If everything just enters one side of an object and comes out directly on the opposite side, it's just sort of boring for the eye. There was a big shape where the drips and runs converged here, and I liked that, but it was a little bit too dark, and it was also right dead center in the middle of the painting. And I don't really like stuff like that. I don't like things that are centered exactly. I don't like coincidences in paintings. They don't seem believable to me. If anything weird happens in a reference photograph, two points coming together, some of these tangent things, maybe objects, coming close together and kissing, as some people uh, say, I make sure and get rid of all that stuff because it just doesn't look right to me in a painting. Unconventional and innovative, Nicholas Simmons is a breath of fresh air to water media techniques. Join the 2007 National Watercolor Society top prize winner as he works large scale and reveals how challenges unique to water media can be turned to an artist's advantage with stunning results. He incorporates blooming, crawlbacks, bleeding, and puddling, and demonstrates methods for integrating massed areas with wet into wet painting. Nick mixes watercolor with fluid acrylics, encourages the paper to buckle, and boldly wields a spray bottle to achieve textural effects. Anticipating his own tendencies, he works safeguards into his process and offers compelling commentary along the way. This approach is perfect for artists striving to achieve a looser look while maintaining control of the final painting. Whether you work in watercolor or acrylics, you'll find a new take on your favorite medium in Innovative Water Media with Nicholas Simmons.